Oh? I didn't think I would see you here. Are these two your friends? Yes. We had the fortune of meeting not too long ago. They are quite a knowledgeable and talented pair, and a pleasure to be around. Traveler, we were just discussing the history of Rex Lapis. Would you like to listen? Uh, this good sir seems not to appreciate the almighty power of the Lord of Geo. As a professional archaeologist, I'm inclined to correct some of his erroneous views. We are discussing the whereabouts of the first Mora. As everyone knows, the Lord of Geo taught the ancient people of Liyue the craft of smelting, creating goods that allowed them to develop trade with the early nations of that time. Today, Liyue holds the sole right to cast Mora in the entire continent of Tivat. The world's very first Mora should have been cast by the hands of the Lord of Geo himself thousands of years ago. According to my research, as well as my own hypothesis, I believe that this coin of unique historical significance has been passed down secretly through the years as a kind of token. For example, perhaps the Qixing who control the Liyue use it in some kind of unknown ceremony they hold when they come to power. No, oh, no, no. My research indicates that the first Mora coin is not such a simple thing. Mora is a catalyst. This we all know. Even today, Mora is used in the mystic arts for its curious properties of weapon enhancement. The world's first Mora would no doubt possess the strongest power. My next historical treatise will boldly expound on the newest findings from my intense decade-long research. That is, that the Lord of Geo used this original Mora as a catalyst to enhance a dagger and a sword. Well, buy the book when it comes out to read the full story. <laughs> For now, I will only reveal this. The one who finds the dagger shall become supreme in Liyue, and the one who finds the sword may be crowned Liyue's sovereign. I can't say I agree. Hmm? <laughs> Let us not speak of the authenticity of the dagger and sword first. But Mora and money came about simply because they are a convenient measure of a contract's value. Rex Lapis just meant for Mora to serve as a catalyst for people to exchange and trade. The world's first Mora is probably just an ordinary coin created by Rex Lapis. As for its fate, the same as all Mora, I suspect. It was simply spent somewhere. Hmm. I think that Mr. Hanshua's hypothesis seems reasonable. Mr. Zhongli's argument, on the other hand, lacks any evidence. How can you so easily dismiss the Lord of Geo's profound foresight? No, no, I am not debating right or wrong. I am simply stating a fact. Enough! Do you think you understand the Lord of Geo more than me? I know but little about history, and I wouldn't dare to brag. But discussion is meaningless if everyone has the same opinion, no? Well then, answer me this. Long ago, when Liyue Harbor was being constructed, the Lord of Geo taught the people how to build houses. The model home he used to teach them was completely cast from Mora, correct? That is correct, indeed. Okay then, tell me. Why would the Lord of Geo do something so extravagant, if not because of the mystical power that Mora contains? There's a simple explanation, really. To the god of wealth and commerce, what material is easier to get than Mora? Uh, oh. Huh. <laughs> I mean, I am talking about Rex Lapis. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have some questions about archaeology. Can we find somewhere quiet to chat? I mean, if it's okay with you. Oh, it's no problem at all. 
But may my friend accompany us? Perhaps they could be of some help. Of course. They can come if that's what pleases you, sir. Let's go.